Hey everybody, it's Havoc69, back with another tutorial for the Razer V2 Tartarus. Uh, today I want to talk about switching between your key maps. Um, I have a, I have setting up one now, right before we start it. What I like to do is I set up the individual key maps under a certain profile for my games. And if I want to switch in between them, I didn't want to have to come into the software, Snaps, and switch in between them might be a different way but i'm only two months into pc gaming so i'm still learning how all this stuff works and how to set it up and do key bindings and i've posted a couple of videos on things that i've found that's helped me and this is one of the things that helped me so i just wanted to put it out there for you so what we're going to do today is go through and look over there this is my gaming one profile okay and see how I have these four key maps? You want to be able to switch between them when you're switching games or switching softwares, whatever you're working on. And from what I've seen, I don't want to come back in here. So I found an easier way for me to do it. Now, there's probably plenty of ways to do this. Again, I'm just sharing with you what I'm learning as I learn it. So if you know of something different or you want to see something different, you know, put it in the comments below and I'll, I'll give it a try. And if it works, I'll put it on. So anyway, this is what we want to try and get to. Okay. So I want to start fresh. So I created this gaming too. And right here is your key map. This is what we're going to set up. And then we're going to set up, we're going to set up three of them. And then we're going to set up how to switch between the three. Now, you see this little, it says key map, and you have the little yellow right here. If you look at your Tartars, see that little yellow light right there? That is that yellow light, okay? That is where they're located, which is right here. Oops, right here on the Tartars. So let's get started. Now, you've seen in this one, you know, I've got them all labeled for the games that I play. For today's video purposes, we're just going to go through here and add a couple of them. Key map one, key map one, whoops. And let's add one more. And then we'll go up here. Let's do a rename and we'll call this example one. We will rename the second one, example two, and we'll come in here and rename this one, which if you don't, haven't figured it out by now, uh, I know I'm supposed to talk to all the details, so let me just make sure I cover it. You hit the three dots, right click on rename, and then we'll make this one example three enter okay so here we go now there is no way that this is working right now on these what I want to do is make that work because that is my way of switching between them I stream every night but Sunday nights on twitch under the same name havoc xx69 I start off in world of tanks and then I move over to black ops 4 and rather than opening this up and coming in here and going to my profile and then switching in between them, you know, I, I set it up to where I have one button on my keypad that'll switch the profiles for me. Then I just look at the lights and I go from there. So let's go through and set this up. So you want to be able to move through the keypads or key maps uh, per your game. And I ran into a lot of difficulty at first trying to figure out what in the world because I would run through them and then I'd go back to World of Tanks and it's like, crap, I got it set up wrong. I had to go back into here and reload or select the World of Tanks key maps, but I got it figured out. And that's why I'm here. So like I said, I like to use the joystick. What you do is you come down here, you select down. This is going to open up. Everyone knows their functions right here on the left, which are nice. They got quite a bit. Here, switch profile, which we're not going to do right now. We're going to go to switch key map. Select switch key map. 
Now it comes up a specific key map, which means that you can you can get back and forth to that particular one if you select key map and then select this little box, switch back to previous key map when the button is released. So you hold the button, it'll go to that key map, you let it go to go right back. What I use, I have not I don't use next. I haven't tried it yet because this is the one that I found and it works. As I use cycle up key maps. Select save. It comes into right here. Okay, you see we're on example one. Let me put my mouse right here. And then I'm going to hit down one time. We went to example two. Now we want to set this one up. Select the down. Select switch key map. And let's cycle up again. We'll close that one out. And let's see what it does. Boom, we go right to three. Now, this is where you have to have a little bit of memory. Okay, yeah, I only have three. I think you can have up to six uh, or even eight key maps under one profile. I can go through that on another video and add to it. So here you will still select down. You'll still select switch key maps. But now you want this one, specific key map. You know you're cycling up. You know world of tanks are for us. Example one is your first one. So specific key map, example one. And you can select whichever one you have, but that's the one that we want, example one, and select save. Okay, now, let me get my keypad up here. Here's my joystick. Okay, push it back. And there you go. And then just, you know, pay attention to your lights. Uh, one thing I will tell you, if you come in and you add another one later on, you know, you see how you have the two lights now, you will have to go back to example three and change this to cycle up. So if you do create another key map, you just keep the same thing going. Um, it's, it's relatively easy. It's simple. But I was new to Tartarus uh, V2, I'm new to the keypads, and I wasn't sure how to make this work. And I basically stumbled across it watching a couple of YouTube videos. I seen a guy showing all the lights and, oh, this is how you see what profiles you have. But he was showing off the software, not how it actually worked on the keypad. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, I try and watch my comments closely so that I can respond within a reasonable time and I give it a thumbs up. So guys, I'll be back. I've got more things that I'm going to be putting on here. Uh, I have a Razer keyboard. I have the Razer Mamba mouse. I have the Razer headset and I'm steadily going through and doing all the chroma lightings and mappings and profiles and linking to games. And as I get better and better, I'm going to be putting those on here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you again. And I will see you in the next one. And I'm feeling good.